Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learning with Miss Nanhu. Today we're going to be using a different strategy on how to round to the nearest tens along to the nearest hundreds. Let's take a quick peek inside of the classroom to see how rounding is taught. You'll also get a look at the rounding chant being taught to scholars to help them to remember the steps when rounding. Going over our review for today is three closer to zero or ten. Say it. Zero. Great. Two is 29 closer to 20 or 30. Say it. 30. Great. And for question three is 140 closer to 100 or 200. Say it. Wow. Well, this is going up five, right? From 35 to 40. But 
you're still rounding to the nearest ten. So we also we always have to look at what we're rounding to, right? The place values. So let's take a look at we have 92 now. So we find our value. What's our value going to be? What am I going to circle? When you do why am I circling the nine? <laughs> What place value is our 9 in? And what is our question asking us to round to? Beautiful. So our 9 is our value. And then we are going to? Look next door. So I need to draw my arrow. Look to my neighbor. So 5 or more being up the score. Here's another example rounding to the nearest tens, 454. We follow rules when rounding. We look at the digit in the place value that we are rounding to, and the digit to its right tells us what to do. So our digit in the tens place is 5. I'm going to look to my neighbor, which is 4. If the digit to the right is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, our digit that we are looking at stays the same. So this means my 5 is going to stay the same as well as my 4. And the digits to the right get changed into a 0. So our answer is 450. Let's take a look at another example. 456. So the first step, circle your value, which is 5 because it is in the tens place. Look to your neighbor. And then according to our rule, if the digit to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then you are closer to the next number and therefore must increase the digit by 1. So 5 gets changed into 6. Any digits that follow the digit of the place value we are looking at becomes a 0. So our answer here is 460. Let's now try rounding to the hundreds. Our number here is 444. My first step is to find the value. There's a four in my hundreds place, so that is what I'm going to circle. Then I'm going to look next door. I see I have a four, so that means four or less, we let it rest. Everything to the right, zero is your name. 
So my four remains the same in my hundreds place and everything to the right becomes a zero. Let's take a look at another example. So I know that I'm going to circle my four because I'm rounding to the nearest hundreds and it's in the hundreds place. I'm going to now look next door and I see I have a seven. So five or more, we up the score. So that means my four is going to go up by one and change into a five and everything to the right zero is your name. So everything gets changed into zero.